What's going on YouTube? Andrew Thomas got picked up by us yesterday. I think that was a really solid pick. He's going to block for Saquon. He's going to block for Daniel Jones. This is what we need. We have not had a dominant left tackle in my lifetime. Uh, even when our offensive line was really good, we kind of had guys coming in and out of that spot. So it's really satisfying to finally get that franchise left tackle. I think that Andrew Thomas is good as his floor. And I think his ceiling can be an all-pro, Hall of Fame type tackle. We passed on Isaiah Simmons. He's that huge playmaker. He's that guy that can play all over the field. But sometimes you just got to go with what you need. I mean, it's like going out and buying a new car when you don't have a house. Or buying a new car when you can't afford to put tires on it. So... We've got Andrew Thomas, and I'm very happy with that. I wanted Jedrick Wills as my number one guy, but he wasn't that far behind Jedrick Wills, and he's better in the run game, which is going to help Saquon out a lot. Hopefully, he'll help Will Hernandez if he ends up playing on that left side. If not, the right side, he's going to be a mauler in the run game, and he's going to be solid in the pass protection game. And the guy really, I think he gave up five sacks his entire college career. This last season, I think he gave up one sack and like three pressures or something. So he's a complete monster, and I'm very happy that he's on the team. Now, moving on to the second round, a lot of players that I thought would never make it to the second round made it, partially because teams like the Raiders uh, just picked random cornerbacks, <laughs> random cornerbacks that just I had third round grades on. So. We have Denzel Mims. We have T. Higgins. Uh, Josh Jones. I thought there was no way he would make it out of the first round. We have uh, Ezra Cleveland. I thought he'd be there in the second round. You have Zach Bond. You've got, I think, uh, your third gross Matos is still on the board. You have so many solid players to go after. And to be honest, I wanted to trade out of that second round spot, but it seems like the value is going to be so strong there that you, you almost have to stay there. A lot of people want Matt Hennessy. They want to double up on an offensive line, but I'm not sure about that. I don't want to really take Matt Hennessy in the second round. Uh, we already took that offensive line in the first round, and defense is a serious issue. We have Grant Delpit, Xavier McKinney, uh, Antoine Winfield, I think. He's a safety, yep. So you, have, you just have so much value on the board, and we're picking fourth, so... We're gonna get. We're gonna have a choice between a lot of value. Uh, if I had to predict, I'm thinking that the Bengals are gonna go Josh Jones because they need a tackle. I'm thinking uh, maybe one of the receivers will get taken. But me, for me, T. Higgins has a first round grade. Denzel Mims has a first round grade, and it, this is gonna be really hard to to pass on. I mean, trading out of this spot, you're trading out of a lot of talent. And these are a lot of first-round players. And that's the benefit to having that high pick. Basically, we're going to have the option of taking Yatur Gross Matos, which for me, he's my third-ranked pass rusher. Uh, Curtis Weaver is my second-ranked pass rusher, but a lot of people aren't that high on him. So even if you aren't high on him, you'll have Gross Matos. You'll have Zach Bond, who can rush on third down and might be able to play a little inside linebacker on early downs. You'll have, I mean, T. Higgins, Denzel Mims, Gross Matos, Curtis Weaver. Uh, I don't really want Matt Hennessy, but I wanted him later. But if you're thinking of it, Matt Hennessy, uh, some people like Michael Pittman at the top of the first round, the top of the second round. I mean, there's just so much talent there. And I wouldn't be mad if we took Xavier McKinney, the top-ranked safety. I don't think anybody in those first three picks will take him. I wouldn't be mad if we took Grant Delpit. Uh, it's just, there's a lot of talent. And I think Gettleman is going to stay there again and make his pick. Sadly, we aren't going to get that pick um, in the third round. I don't think he'll trade out of that at all. There's, like I said, there's just too much, there's too much talent there. And I think he's going to pretty much stay there and make his pick. So, guys, out of Gross Matos, out of Zach Bond, out of the receivers because let's 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 be real i didn't want a receiver that first round but daniel jones needs some more help i mean golden tate he's getting older serling shepherd had the concussion problems last year 
if he even comes back, he's a slot receiver. Uh, Golden Tate, a lot of people just try to ex exclusively call Golden Tate a slot receiver, but I think he's a lot more than that. But even then, I want an outside dog, big receiver, jump ball, burn the defense type of receiver. And we can get that with T. Higgins and Denzel Mims. Uh, I really want them to go for a receiver. It's kind of ignoring the defense. And if Gross Matos is there, I feel like you have to take him. Because if Gross Matos is there, he's that pass rusher. He fits our defense. Our defensive line coach, Sean Spence, uh, what they call him, Coach Chaos. He used to coach him just last year. So I think that's a no-brainer pick if Gross Matos is there. If Gross Matos is not there, then I feel like you have to go ahead and take a receiver because T. Higgins and Denzel Mims are first-rounders to me. Josh Jones, I think, will be gone, but I won't be mad if we take Josh Jones because I had a first-round grade on him. Josh Jones at offensive tackle, and you get two tackles, your two tackles of the future in back-to-back -back rounds. I don't have a problem with that. I'll be kind of disappointed if we go center, but I won't be that disappointed. There's almost no way to be disappointing unless they just reach for a player, which I'm not putting past the Giants. Seems like we do it every year. But so far, so good. Andrew Thomas, left tackle. Chalk it up. Write it down. If he's not playing left tackle this year, he'll be playing next year. And like I said, I wouldn't be mad if they took somebody like Josh Jones because the value is just too much. But I'm thinking we're going to take your tier gross Matos if he can make it to us. We might even trade up for him because I feel like the Giants really want this guy. If not, go ahead and draft a receiver. So that's my opinion on that. Guys, let me know who do the Giants need to go after this round. Can we go receiver? Do we need a defensive guy? Because the defense is still questionable. We have a lot of safeties out there that are better than what we have. So let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. D546. I'm out.